right, um, adding automation controls for a particular plugin to a track is really simple. You can actually put them on the track itself, or you can keep them on separate tracks beneath the track or anywhere in your arrange view. So let's show how to do that. Here is the Pro EQ right here. And I'm going to drag this into the inserts here on our audio track. And there we go. It opens up really easy there. So now, if you want to get into automation mode, one of the best ways to get there is to click on this little icon here. And click right there. And you can see here that on this audio track, there are already two options, the pan and the volume. And of course, that makes sense because the pan and the volume are right here on the track. So if you wanted to add a particular plugin that's for that track, it's really simple. All you have to do is choose any one of the controls, right click, and choose Edit Automation. And for that, you see it puts a dot in here to show you that it has an automation option. And it instantly puts it in the list here for the automation options for the track. And it puts it on top of the track. In order to change the view, in other words, uh, edit a different automation point, all you have to do is drop this down and choose the pan. We can do the pan and we can choose the volume just like that. Now, some people like to actually have that separate on an individual track and not on top of the track. So let's go ahead and right click and let's say remove automation gain. And there we go. Now you can see it's gone. So one of the ways to do that is to open up the little cog wheel right here and it opens up the control link options for the uh, for Studio One. And you can see if I click on any of these knobs, you can see it changes the option in the box. Okay, so now what we can do is if we want to have this on a separate track and not in this automation list, it's just as easy to go ahead and click on the control that you want and then grab the little hand here and drag it to a track underneath. Now we actually have the option to do the automation and it is separate from this list right here. So now if you change your mind later and say, you know what, I really want this as part of the list, actually. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag this right onto the track. And now you can see it has added it to the list here. This list can also be expanded for like temporary views by clicking on the little icon right here. And boom, there we go. Now we can see all of the automation options for this track available beneath it and we can close it at any time for easy access so i can either do it here oops go here and then go here or if i want to keep this in the regular view mode and expand it here all i have to do is do that and then of course i can just click my little dots and i can actually put automation right in the track here and anything that you do when you collapse whoops boink, there we go and then go here back to automation and then go here you can see that it also appears on the top of the track so you have a lot of options on how to view your automation how to edit your automation and where to see it so it makes a lot of sense hopefully you guys got something out of this and i will see you all in the next video